Four years ago, I made a video called the top 10 shoes under $300. That video ended up being the most successful video on my channel, as far as views. By far too, that video has 190,000 views as I'm making this video. And I think the second closest to that is around 55,000. That's one of the videos that brought a lot of people to the channel. But four years later, it's definitely time for a new one. I've been asked, when am I going to update the video? And today's the day, man. And ironically, I was just watching the old video and I'm wearing the same exact suit in that video that I'm wearing right now. I just noticed that right before I pressed record. So this wasn't planned or anything. But this is classic menswear for you. Nothing really goes out of style. I'm just as sharp now as I was back then. Intro. Yo, what up? My name is Vladimir Richet from ChaseAndRider.com. In today's video, we're going to count down the top eight shoes under $300. And if my voice sounds a little bit raspier than usual, it's because I'm just getting over a cold. So um, hopefully it's not too bad. Now, why is this countdown only eight shoes as opposed to 10 shoes like the last one? That's a good question, man. I'm not perfect, so there's a good chance I might be forgetting somebody, but I don't think I'm forgetting like two brands or anything. So I just couldn't really find any. Some of the ones that I spoke about before, prices have increased. So they're no longer under $300. Some of them I just really don't really like anymore. And instead of stretching it just to make 10 fit, I'm like, I'm just gonna do eight. You know what I'm saying? Like these eight are really, really good shoes. And I definitely put my name behind those. Now, a lot of those brands I don't own, but I recommended them to my clients and they like them, so that's how I'm able to talk about them. And some of the other ones, even though I don't own them yet, at the New York Trunk Show this past October, I was able to see them in person, try them on, and some of them, I will be getting shoes from them, I just haven't received them yet. Just to be 100% transparent, I feel like the best price point for shoes is in between the four and $500 range, but not everybody can afford those shoes. And it's good that right now we're in the golden age of shoemaking, I feel like. So even under $200, you can still find some pretty nice shoes. Now, before we start with the countdown, I wanted to bring a brand to your attention. They didn't make the countdown for a couple of reasons. Number one, they literally just came out this November. Number two, and more importantly, the brand in question, which is Jay Rosario, it's a brand that one of my friends and business partners started. So I don't want it to come across like I'm playing favoritism. So I figured, let me just leave them out of the countdown, but I'll still talk about them a little bit. So as I was saying, the brand literally made his debut this month, November, 2023. Jay Rosario has two different collections. They have the Freedom Collection, which is a patina, where you get to choose the shoe and pick exactly what color that you want. But that collection starts at 379. So the one that we're going to talk about today is the Essential Collection which retails for $229. The Essential Collection is Goodyear welted and they are made in India. Right now it's only one style, which is a plain capital Oxford, but it comes in three different colors. So you have a black, you have a mocha, which is like a dark brown, and you also have a tan. I'm sure eventually they will introduce more style in the Essential Collection. Obviously, I always recommend a black capital Oxford, and also the mocha is a really good option. The light brown, I'm not really a huge fan of that color because to me, that's the hardest color to try to pair. So I would like to see maybe a burgundy as opposed to a light brown. But then again, light brown shoes are really popular. So I can understand why you went that route. And last but not least, one thing that I really like is they have a buy one, gift one program where for every pair of shoes that they sell, they also gift a pair of shoes to the less fortunate in India. So I think that's really cool. Now let's get to the countdown. Number eight, is Berwick 1707. And if you watched the first video, then you heard me speak about them before. They are one of the three brands that are also making a comeback in this video. They are made in Spain and retail for $195. The shoes are good year welted and they are multiple last to choose from. Number seven is Skolix. I got to meet the owner of Mel when they came to New York for the trunk show. Extremely nice dude. And I also got to see the shoes in person. The shoes are made in Spain. They are good year welted and start at $210. They have a lot of styles to choose from, from Oxfords to Munchstraps and Loafers. 
All their shoes come with a thin rubber sole, which is ideal if you live in a climate that either gets very wet or that gets a lot of snow. Personally, I would have preferred to see leather soles as well as rubber sole as an option. But at $210, you can't be too picky and the shoes are really nice for the price. Number six, Love & Tongue. Now, this is a brand that I actually own and I'm a big fan of. I've actually unboxed a couple of their shoes on this channel before. They retail at $296, so they have the top of the price point. Love & Tongue is the creation of a menswear store called Skoti Bolaget, also out of Sweden. Their shoes are Goodyear welted and they are made in Spain. And they have two lasts. They have the S last, which is a round last, and they have the L last, which is a soft square last. Number five is Septième Largeur, which is a brand out of France. If you couldn't tell by the way that I nailed this pronunciation. <laughs> the shoes are made in Spain. They are Goodyear welted and they start at $270. They also have a few last to choose from. Number four is a shoe brand called CNES out of Singapore, although the shoes are made in Vietnam. They are Goodyear welted and retail for $270. CNES is one of the shoes that I got to try on at the New York Trunk Show, and I do have a pair coming. When I receive it, I'll be doing an unboxing on the channel, so be on the lookout for that. Number three is Mealman, which was number one on the original countdown. Mealman is a brand out of Spain. I've owned a few of their shoes. Actually, they were my first pair of welted shoes. I actually had a pair of hand welted shoes prior to a Goodyear welted shoes because my first pair was for Mealman's hand welted line. But the ones that I'm talking about on this countdown is actually the classic line that retails for $190. They're the only brand on this countdown that actually has a US presence. They have a store in Soho in New York City where you can actually walk in and try on the shoes. Mealman is one of the brands that's been in the game for a long time. They have a ton of lasts to choose from and so many different styles. One negative with Mealman, the shoes take a long time to break. I haven't gotten a pair of Mealman in a while, but from speaking to a couple of my friends, they tell me nothing has changed on that front. So that's just something to be mindful of. The first couple weeks are going to be pretty tough. All right, now we're down to the top two. Number two is a brand called Blackbird out of India that's been taking the shoe game by storm for the past couple of years and it's not hard to see why. They start at $142, but really shine at a $250 price point. They are hand welted and hand lasted, and they also have a fiddle back waist, which is unheard of for shoes in that price point. Their most famous model is a seamless hole cut. You're talking about a shoe that's made out of one piece of leather, and there are no seams. This is something that you usually see in shoes that cost five, $600 minimum, but Blackbird is able to do that under $300, which is, absolutely amazing. I don't own a pair and I haven't seen them in person, but I've seen plenty of reviews from sources that I trust. That's why I'm confident to put them on my countdown at number two. Now, number one, and that's Bridland, also out of India. Those shoes are Goodyear welted and they retail for $253. They have a ton of Oxford style to choose from, from wingtips to plain capital Oxfords to punch capital Oxfords. They have monk straps. They have boots like Chuckers, Chelsea's, Balmoros, and they also have a ton of lasts to choose from. Bridland is another brand that I've been hearing about for the past couple years. I got to meet the Bridland team in New York. They're really, really nice. I got to try on the shoes and I also did commission a new pair. So I will definitely be unboxing it right here when I do receive it. So that was my countdown on the top eight shoes under $300 that I would recommend. Like I was saying before, right now is the best time when it comes to shoes. You can get some really nice shoes under $300, some of them even under $200, as you can see by this countdown. And as always, wrist check. This is my 1970 Grand Seiko 6145, and it's on a Chase and Rider medium brown alligator strap. There's a link in the description if you wanna get yours. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe or everybody gonna think that you're a hater and I'll catch you in the next video.